So this is the one that I just finished building. This one used a Japanese method, Yazaki Sun method. And then next one is I'm using a Mogami W2534 uh, quad cables with Canary F10 RCA connectors. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to share how I make the uh, my RCA interconnect cables. So I've been doing these RCA connect interconnect cables for a very long time. I've been doing many cable like this. This is uh, the one with the uh, new Trick Pro 5 uh, connectors. So this is a, one of the best connectors that you can buy. And this one is also I built to use it with the uh, my analog setup when I was using the uh, step up uh, transformers with the uh, my low output uh, MC cartridge. I like the connectors on the AudioQuest uh, Diamondback cable. So you know I take the cable out and I use this uh, Blue Jean LC1 cable which I no longer use. Today what I'm going to build is this one uh, Mogami 2534. So this is usually you know I only build the length that I need. I don't like long cables. So this is the one that I've been uh, wanted to try. This one is the quad cables. Usually you know quad cables is a lot quieter compared to regular coaxial cables. So we'll find out. And I'm using this uh, Canary uh, F10 uh, RCA plugs which is very high quality RCA plug, very solid, and it has the uh, wire or uh, the metal strain relief. I will be building this one using the uh, the the cable that I like to build. A uh, weird method. Uh, you can do traditional method. You can do a uh, directional method. You can do uh, you know some people call it Japanese style connection so that's what I'm going to do on this one so this one is Belgian 8402 this one is also a highly acclaimed audio cable by many famous uh, audio five people so they even replace like tens of thousand you know worth of uh, connectors that they've been using the newer generation will be uh, Belgian A412. It's a tinted copper. I'm not going to use outer jackets on these cables because if I put an outer jacket, these plugs won't fit. And then uh, I kind of like this a brown color. And also, this one is also the same thing. If I put an outer jacket, the, the strain relief not going to fit over this cable. That's what I'm going to do and uh, these are very reasonably priced pro audio cables by the way. So the tools is based basically basic to very simple wire cutter, stripper, just cutter and the blade, solder and iron. That's all I'm gonna use. This is the Belden uh, 8402 wires. These are all insulation. It's like a, like some sort of a polyester material inside the cable of a Belden 8402. So I'm just going to trim that out. So when you do this, you just need to make sure all the strings of the uh, metal shield, make sure it doesn't touch the uh, your signal conductor. I'm going to pull this uh, shielding back onto the jacket. It has the two conductors inside, white and black. So I will be only using the uh, white conductors and I will be connecting this uh, uh, black conductor to the, uh, uh, sh the shield layer of the cable. So that is called a Japanese method. So this is how it's gonna look on the RCA plug. Before you do any soldering, you just need to make sure the outer cover of an RCA plug is in is already on the cable because after that you're not going to be able to put that on. Uh, this RCA pin is pretty deep, 
So I need to cut all the way from here. Let's do it. Let me strip it. Then this is how it's gonna look. Okay, this is the uh, little soldering rig that I built. So usually goes in like this so I can solder. That's it, already tin it. I don't like putting a lot of solder on the uh, RCA pin. So usually uh, I just try to do minimal thing there. So I do a little differently because I don't solder ground signal. So ground is, it goes on this uh, metal piece like this and then I'm gonna crimp it down. So let me cut this one out. So I'm going to crimp this down before I f do the final solder. The ground connection is made. Now I'm going to mount it here. And now I just need to uh, solder the uh, hot connection. Now You don't need to put a lot of solder in there, which I'm not a big fan of. So now I can trim all the excess cables. This one, I like to put a little bit of a shrink tubing around here on over the ground connection area. So it's only like half an inch or so. I like to put this little shrink tubing over here. So I shrink it like this. The RC plug housing. Once you get there, if you're doing this method, you don't want to push it up right away because it will move the shrink tubing. Usually I just keep turning and turning, it will get there. As you can see, this is a very clean connection here. No strings or nothing there. Not excess solder there. So that's how, you know, I like to use. There you go, this is a one N. White is signal cable, black is ground, which is connected to uh, braided metal cable shielding of under this uh, jacket. So that's the method that I use. This is Yazaki san method. All right, let's get the another N. I already have RCA connector housing on and this uh, shrink tubing. So that's all I need. I'm gonna pull this outer layer of a braided uh, metal shielding back onto the jacket. This is so. This is very simple and easiest way to do. It has a lot of uh, insulation here, a lot of fiber in there. So white is signal. The black is ground. I'm going to do same method of a connection. It's very simple and straightforward. Make sure the signal cable inside the RCA pin. And this tab is uh, for the uh, ground connection, which uh, I don't use. You can use that one, but uh, it's too close to a signal connection, so I don't like using that pin. Just me, if you want, you can use that as uh, your ground connection area. So now we are ready to solder. Let's solder it. That's it. Usually I just point the tip on it and then touch it with the solder. It's going to melt and fall onto the uh, the signal cable so it's very quick and easy step so um, this one is nice and clean a little bit of excess cable here for the wires i'm going to trim it 
So XS wires are gone. Connection is like this. As you can see, this is going to be like this. Many people with a super expensive system use this one. Like, you know, some people with the Kondo or Ongaku amplifiers and all that, you know, they use this connectors. This cable is done. So many audio files uh, end up selling the expensive, super uber expensive cables because of this cable. So if you are curious, you can try this cable. It's, it should be very good cables and I will report you back how I like this cable. Let's do this one. This one, this is using the uh, Canary F10 RCA connectors. I did the one end already. So this, is, this one has the uh, strain relief and usually, you know, I just measure it like this and then uh, I just cut it from here. Usually like, it's like three quarter of an inch on this connector type. When you cut in this, uh, be careful because you don't want to cut these strings. If you want, you can solder a uh, ground wire on this base if you want. But uh, usually I just, I like to crimp it here. So that's me. This is like a little bit of unorthodox way of uh, doing the cables. You know, you can always do a traditional way. Just uh, use your coaxial cables. But uh, these cables sound really good. So that's why I like to use it. This one has a full conductors. I'm going to use blue conductors as my signal cable, two blue conductors and two white conductors going to connect to the ground signal. So this how, that's how I use. So this is the a uh, little bit different way than uh, a lot of people do. So it's like this, it going to go like this and then I will connect two blue conductors and I will crimp this one. On this uh, RCA plug. I got this one stripped. I'm gonna do is this one I'm going to strip it again. Two blue conductors is going to be for the uh, uh, signal cable. So this one uh, only need is like a quarter inch. There you go. Then twist these two conductors because that's how they are is they are all twisted all the way from end to end. So now I'm going to put some solder on. I just need to tint it quickly. So it's put the strings together. That's it. It looks good. This is a sequence that uh, we, we need to put on if you use this uh, F10 uh, RCA connectors. The housing go in first and the strain relief and then uh, this uh, uh, cable uh, insulation, the little rubber piece. So then uh, pull this back down. You just need to push it in here like this. And make sure the signal cable goes inside the uh, RCA pin. All right, it's nice and clean. I'm just going to crimp it before I solder. It's already crimped. Now I just need to solder them. Then after I solder, I'm just going to cut this excess uh, shielding. So let me solder it. It's very quick solder. Done with this. So slide this on. So this is outer or inner sleeving and then I pull this up then oh it's getting dark so I just turn the lights on so this one I just cut it and then I pull the outer layer jacket and then pull the wires back down this one is a copper shielding the two white gonna go to ground the two blue is a signal you can use however you like 
This is how it look. So I'm going to twist the two blue wire. It's already twisted and then I'm going to tin it. Going to connect these just, just to make sure everything is not uh, interfering anything nice and clean then uh, we can crimp it. I'm going to solder it. Uh, I've been using this method for a very long time. And just put this on. Okay, one cable only take like stripping everything, probably like 15 minutes the most. It's very easy and straightforward. Tin the cable, solder, and we're done. It should be very quick. And uh, I'm gonna crimp it. Usually, I like to clean the tip with the uh, steel wool, so which is, makes it a lot easier. It's soldering. Uh, it's not hard. You just need to practice a little bit. It's easy. I mean, don't put a lot of solder. Make sure nothing is left out there. There you go. Now, put this RCA flag on. So the reason I built this is uh, I wanted to uh, try this cable with these connectors to see how they sound and how I like the sound quality of this. So this is how I built my cables. I will keep you guys updated and thank you for watching and happy listening.